Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. Now, I have already recorded some of this episode once because we had a power outage in the building and basically I was in the middle of this scavenge mission up here that we were going to go on and everything died. So I know for a fact that this scavenging mission is not worth the effort. It's there's one tech and there's one uh, materials crate in it. And that's it. The rest is food, like five food crates or something like that. And it's just not worth it to go in there because there are so many Arthrans. So I'm just going to skip this. It's a little bit cheaty, but hey, shit happens. So we're going to do something else. We are going to send these guys. I think I'll send them back and heal a bit. And maybe pick up this soldier down here. If what's his level now? He's level three. I need him to be level four before I want to pick him up. But then I do want to pick him up. So let's um, let's head down here and heal up a bit. Now our Tiamat is on its way down here to set up a scan, which we need to do some. The deconstruction for or scrapping for. So let's have a look. What can we scrap? What do we want to scrap? Um, suppose we can scrap some of this. That's actually enough. That is actually enough. So yeah, let's scrap that. And now we have enough to start a scan down here. What's this? Oh, that's probably the manticore that's arrived. Yes. No. Are you level 4 yet? No. We're gonna let him become level 4 and the others will get some training while they're there as well. Okay, we have Haven under attack here. 27, 27. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Uh, we'll start this area scan. Let's see who's winning here. It seems like... Hmm. I'm not really sure who's winning there. But we're going to explore here. Manticore is fully healed and he's still level 3. How far are you from level 4? Very, very close. But we'll just stay a little bit longer and get him to level 4. Okay. Okay. Exploration site. Our operatives have set down outside an abandoned factory. There's a lot of old and wrecked machinery here. Perhaps we can use some of it. I hope we can. Uh, 140 with tech, 80 materials. I would have liked materials instead of tech. Uh, how is it going up here? The Dorns are winning, so we're going to go and Research complete. try and save that. All right. So the autopsy complete. 100 tech, 200 materials, 500 food. Summary. The Scylla is something like a Pandoran battleship with multiple weapons and defense systems. Uh, and critical command and control abilities. It is certainly highly intelligent and seems to be responsible for the increasing strength of Pandoran attacks on havens. Many of its mutations seem to be oriented towards abduction of human populations rather than outright massacre. It is absolutely essential that we capture a live specimen, even though it will be an extremely difficult task, or dangerous task. Genetic origins, 8% arthropod, 4% uh, arachnid, 11% human, 77% unknown. Function is leadership, abduction, mass terror, demolition. Some mutations have the ability to instill frenzied attacks by lesser condorans. Okay. Offensive mutations, dual smashers, dual melded cannons, mist launcher, sonic blast, dual launcher, deployment of mind fraggers. Defensive mutations, reactive mist mission armored variants. Mobility Agile variant can leap over short distances. Okay. 
Now, we need to capture Siren, we need to capture Scylla. Okay, the Tia map is on its way up there. The Manticore. This guy should be level 4 now, right? Yep. So, what will we give you? Hmm. Well, let's do some training first, right? So we definitely want to have that ability. And then I want that ability as well. Now, do I want to train him into assault as well? It would be nice to have dash. And then we will give him some willpower. I think we'll dig into our Phoenix point. Uh, skill points as well a bit. But we'll do that. Actually, we'll do that. Okay. Equipment. You need an assault rifle. You need... See what else do you need? You need a med kit, absolutely. Anything else? I suppose we could give you some grenades. All right. Maybe should we go with the acid grenades? We'll go one acid, one regular. Now we could also mutate, mutate him, so what does he have now? He has this one. Living allied units within seven tiles recover two will points at the start of the turn. I like that. Uh, what else can we get? Uh, we could get the judgment head and still frenzy. Or psychic scream reducing will points. Hmm. I think I like the Synod head here. Now, for body, we could do the tentacles to get paralyzing damage. Or this one to ge regenerate. This takes down speed by two. This doesn't affect speed, so I think I like this one better. And we have legs. Do the stomp thing. Uh, which gives plus 20% accuracy. Or this one. You know what? Uh, I think we're going to go over to. Um, let's, let's go back here. We have something in containment. We have these four chirons. Let's harvest those. Get some of this mutagen. And then we can mutate you a bit. I like this, so we'll definitely get that. Hmm. Now this has 16 armor, this has 34 armor. Reduces his speed, but increases his accuracy. Plus 100. Why can't we, uh, why can't we do that? Ah, we've used two or two mutation slots. Okay. So we can't mutate everything, unfortunately. Okay. That's fine. He is ready to go. Alright, and we will stick him on the manticore so that we have six people here. And I think this is all good. I think this is all good. But what? You have the Jericho Gauze. 
I'm wondering if we'd rather have the Sinedrian. Ways four, ways four. It's basically the same. This does a little bit more damage, but the range is nowhere near as good. Yeah, I think I'll switch over to the Sinedrian variant. On him. And you're heavy. And let's see, you have. What does it say? Start. We can start with Lise here. He's maxed out. She basically has everything I want, except maybe ready for action. You're fine for now. We're maxed out. I would like the weak spot. Let's get that. There's you, Bernard. You basically have everything I want. And then there's Wolfgang. I'd like to give you Dash. We'll give you Dash. And you're kitted out. And then the last one is you, which we've already done. So let's just take a look here. Go back to lease, you're kitted out. You're kitted out, you're kitted out, you're kitted out, you're kitted out. Actually, I think I'll give you one of these. Okay, so we have two of those. Now we do have some of this stuff. Uh, no, we don't. Uh, didn't I order... I did order some Asheron armor. So if we go to personnel, you can wear that. You can wear that. You are already wearing it. And what about down here? You're wearing... You're wearing the New Jericho version. Oh, that's fine. And Chaz, you are wearing the Sinedrian version, that's good. You are wearing that. Okay, so... Steven? I want you to have this. And I want you to have this. And then I need you to have this once it's done. All right. So what are we going to do here? We have six guys here. Let's... Let's go explore a bit over here. And the Tiamat is on its way up to help, right? The disciples of Anu Haven is under attack. And Kish, there's nothing I can do about that. There's no way I'm getting there on time. Are you ready to explore? Scan complete. What? Oh, this is a technician. I did not want to area scan there. The old world is gone, and yet it haunts us. There are those who dream of taking us back to those dark days before the Flood, when greed ruled and change seemed impossible. Sins and lies are difficult to kill, but kill them we shall. With the blessing of the dead God, New Jericho will fall and the faithful will rejoice. Okay. Don't know what that was all about. Uh, this is a technician right now. Uh, 
Ah, uh, crap. We didn't make it there in, on time. Okay. Well, in that case... There's no way we're getting that. Now, I would like to do some trading. Because I would like some materials and outfit, and I would also like some people to start uh, training at our bases. So, let's trade here. Okay. Now, another thing that I really want is to steal a craft from um, New Jericho, I think. So we have a priest, we'll take it. Construction complete. You. Now, it's weird it says that there's two people here, because there is only one. And that's you. And if we look at the Geoscape over here... Uh, now there isn't any, so that makes sense. <laughs> Where did where where did I send you, man? Uh, okay, it's more here. Phoenix base, yay! Let's take a look at bases. Well, we need to repair you. We need to repair you. We need to repair you. Okay. Now, let's just make sure that everything is online everywhere. Well, it seems like it's right. You are... okay. Good, good. So, what else could we recruit and where can we trade? Here we can trade for some more materials. Here we can get an infiltrator. Here we can get an assault. We really need to get some more materials. Let's go down here. Scan complete. Okay. Oh, we can trade here. Let's do that. Take all of it. I don't want technicians because we don't have that class of... Uh, we, we're not allied with them, so we can't really build anything for them. And it looks like it's technicians everywhere over here. Food. Nice. Uh, and I definitely don't want new talk because they just blow. All right. Let's come down here. Where is the Tiamat? Has it arrived? Has. Tiamat is here. Let's move over here. Is there a New Jericho Haven? The disciples of Anu Haven is under attack. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see, 2811. We are going to have to come over and help them. John Stuart Mill wrote, Bad men need nothing more to compass their ends than that good men should look on and do nothing. New Jericho will no longer stand by and allow the disciples of Anu to mislead people in the name of their rotten superstition. As of this moment, we are at war. Okay. So... Basically, New Jericho is at war with Sanhedrin and Anu, and they're at war with New Jericho. They're only unfriendly towards each other, which is nice. Well, we're going to go help there. The Tiamat is on its way over here. So we've got some more. Materials. And then we will head now there's there's a head here. You know what, let's head over here. Extreme threat level. Extreme. It's very nice rewards though, it is daylight. Uh, let's cancel for a second uh, and take a look at our personnel here. So we have you, we have you, we have you. So let's have a look at you. Hmm, we're not the best sniper combo, to be honest. We do have that. We have you. You are a sniper combo thing. So that means that you could, in fact, you could, in fact, bring one of these. It's heavy. So he'll be encumbered, so we'll need to take one of these off. What's the ammo? 12. So he has 12 slug shots there. 12 shots there. That should be enough, right? And hopefully we can paralyze something with that. And there's you. You hopefully have enough ammo with you. There's you. You're fine. Now this thing... on an Anna. But she's on the Tiamat. So I think we'll go in with these six guys and see what we can do. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now the team at is still en route, right? Yeah. Let's deploy. Extreme threat level. I am, to be honest, a little bit worried about that. Let's just double check this equipment. Can you carry more? You can. You know what? You're gonna. All right. You can carry more as well. Do you have any more grenades? I have some. We have this poison grenade. We have some sonic grenades. Let's try them. And there's Steven. You're filled up. You're filled up. You're filled up. So everyone is ready, right? Yeah. Let's deploy. 
And right off the bat, we see a Scylla. Isn't that wonderful? What do you have? He's half dead. Why is he half dead? He must have been wounded in the fight. That's nice. Still has all his armor, though. He has a blaster cannons. Three of those. He has a spitter head, which spits goo and poison. And he has the death belch, which spawns multiple small creatures on death, and it's mind fraggers. Wonderful. Now... What's our plan? Hmm. Can we catch him on this mission? That's the question, oh, yeah. really. Let's move you in here, see if we see something more. We didn't. That's kind of nice. So if we can deal with him on the first turn, watch his strength. We can't see that. Well, receiving loud and clear. We can see him. We can quick aim. Ready to fire. Where does he have the least armor? The head. 15 paralysis. Targeting. Uh, uh, a lot. Now we can't see his head. Fantastic. Give him a second. We turn around and one. There we go. There's his head. It's thirty paralysis of one hundred and thirty-one. So we won't be able to take him five this by time. Five. Get 60 paralysis on him. And then he won't. <laughs> die and death belch those things on us either. So these two need to do the same thing next time. And then one more time. So that's terrific. Let's overwatch. Over in this direction. Receiving Ooh. loud and clear. Come in here. Is there a door on the other side? Nope. Moving to position. Well, we spotted someone. What do you have? Pincer, launcher, spitter. Okay, let's overwatch down this way. And there's you. Oh, I don't want to poison it, the Scylla. Come over here. Spotted something. A Triton. With a Iconoclast. That is not great. Let's deploy a decoy. Okay, there's another guy there. He has a machine gun, spitter and launcher. Wonderful. I think I'm going to dash you away. Because that is dangerous, dangerous territory right there. And you... 
Be right there. Around this way. I don't think spotted. All right, let's see what happens. Is he running away? He ran away. All right, well, that's one thing we don't have to deal with. Then. There goes our decoy. There's another of those guys. He's going for the civilians, which is fine. Damage and infected by virus. Now, him, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Ready. You definitely need to heal. I just need to catch my breath. And then I don't know what we're going Standing to do with you after that. Do you have a machine gun? No. We could dash you up here, take him out, and then find out what we do from there. Crunch time. Let's do it. And dash you in here, maybe. Gotta keep on pushing. Let's take you out. We can't. And he has. Does he have a machine gun? He does not. We can't kill him. We only have one shot. Right, go out there. Care okay, we're not going to do anything. Leg, we can do something, but not as much as I'd like. What about the arm? Can we see the arm? We can, and we can do quite a lot to that. It offers a launcher arm at least. How about you? Well, you don't have any will points, so you're gonna do something. It's gonna have to be from here, or you can run back into cover. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Now how many will points do these guys have? Uh, 14. So we need to kill something. We need to kill a few things actually. Channel open. Um, if we switch to this, we can't see anything. There's a thing there. No cover here. Over there. Right, let's run over here. Uh, that's the pincer. That's the launcher. So we want to take off the launcher arm. If we marked him for death. Did we kill him? Not even close. Not even close. <laughs> Disabled his arm. Well, now he has spitter and pincer. You can actually see him from here. On it. So if we quick aim to you, 
took a couple of shots. He's dazed. But we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him. Taking aim. Alright. That's some will points off them. One of them are panicked. Now how much health does he have left? 60. So if we are not gonna kill this guy, we need to dash him out of there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's recover. We have a priesty dude. And he... I really don't want to use his dash because I want his will points to be able to mind control or something. Let's go for Okay, you are going to have to dash out of here. Basically, as far as way as I can get you. And you Receiving are going to have clear. to get out of here. Heading out. Okay. That's our <laughs> turn. Man, how did he know we went there? Ah! Ow! Wow. At least you will only be able to do it once. Alright, he spotted someone. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright. This should be doable. This should be doable. Comes online. Confirming target. Ah. He's done. How many will points do you guys have left? 14. 10. I wonder if these are the last guys, though. I'm thinking no. I think, is this a civilian up here or what is it? I think it is. Quick aim. Ready to fire. Got your spitterhead. Quick aim again. Not alone yet. Let's come up top, see what we have up here. Oh, there's a Chiron, and it's a acid worm abdomen version. Okay. Well, let's come in here. And save these two guys. Where is our extraction point? Down here. Hopefully they have enough hit points that they can make it out in time. Then at least we'll have saved some, right?
And then you can take cover here, I guess. Okay. Let's send you up here. You can come up here. I wonder if the Chiron is the last enemy. I'm hoping that it is, but I am certainly not sure if it is. I don't want to activate it. Dashing so ahead. Let's just come up here. Hopefully, we don't alert it. We didn't. Uh, let's overwatch. Uh, it's a short one, so just overwatch like that. You on my way over here. Start making your way over to be of use. He is alerted. There came some acid bombs. Okay. Can you make it out? You can. That's right. You, can you make it out? Best. Evacuate. Okay, so since it is active, let's get to somewhere where we can shoot the bastard. wonder if we can shoot him from here. Nope. What about here? Moving to coordinates. Yeah. Right, so next time we can start shooting him. Okay. Now uh, you zooming in. Wait, that was a fire worm. So there are two chirons because the other one was an acid worm. Let's actually just do this. I should have just done that. They're all dead. Which means I'm pretty whoops. I'm pretty sure I saw an acid worm. Yeah, this is a fire worm. Now there are civilians in here. Do we wanna go save them or do we just wanna get up here? I think we just wanna get up here. Can you, you can see something from there, yeah? Second Chiron, and that's the acid worm variant. We're going to have to deal with some worms. That is not a great shot. Are those the two last enemies, though? I wonder. I think it is. That's. We hit something. We did. I think these guys are the last enemies. And I'm taking a risk on them being the last enemies. Uh, let's come in here and rescue these two guys. Let's making our way towards uh, those guys anyway. So, fine. Let's come down. It's a shame we didn't catch the Scylla, but it is what it is. Let's Moving now. Cover just in case. They're in a really good spot. Let's head over here. Okay. Didn't do anything, so that's nice. 
What's our plan? Now, you don't have will points. Not enough, anyway. You can... Let's... Let's come out here. We definitely will alert the other one now. Which is fine, I guess. Targeting. Uh, can you please turn around? Thank you. Take that out. We'll take it out, but we did a lot of damage. And come back inside. Let's just come over here. That's not really that great, to be honest. Now, we need to deal with these worms. There's a worm there, 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 and there. Now... Who has... Grenade. And we grenade two of them. Maybe. Well, we killed one, not the other. Why does he only... Ah, does it cost an action point? Darn it. Alright, fair enough. Can you please quick aim? Ready to fire. And take a shot at him. I really want to hit the head. And quick aim. Alright. You guys just come down this way. We have you. So let's first use you. has a shot. Good. Good, good. Heading out. Target should be in the face. We have you. Let's just get you up here. Gotta be quick. Be right there. Okay. Some more worms. So is he? So that's six worms we need to to deal with. Six worms. All right. Suppose we can do that. So one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven worms. Okay. Standing by. with two of them. Say miss. Okay, what do we have? That can deal with those two worms there. Well, you can come in here. Deal with this guy. And then we can just move Moving back now. from him. Not that it really matters because he doesn't have stomper legs. So that's that dealt with. Then we can do rapid clearance with you. Steady. Take out that. Take out that. Then we need to reload. Why do you only have... Why do you only have one action point left? Hope I can find cover. That actually probably wasn't the best spot. Can we see him from anywhere where we can shoot? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's come over here then. Okay. And that's the turn. We're obviously going to get some more worms here. Or oh, what? No? We didn't get any worms. That's weird. Right? And you in here. Not so much to, to be part of the shooting, but because it will replenish. Taking aim. On the move. Uh, will points. From here, I have to get you up here. You can actually. You can come up here. Then there's you. Why don't you come over here and take a shot at his face? Alright. Disabled head, disabled torso, torso, he's infected. There's 120 hit points left. No 
what, let's just dash you in. Whoa. That should be it. Alright. Very nice. Very nice. Unfortunate that we didn't catch the siller, but it is what it is. We got a single level up, but good experience overall. So that's nice. Very good. Let's head back to the, the geoscape. Okay, we got some very nice materials. We got some stuff and everything is good. Today is a sad day. Today we are forced to recognize that the Phoenix Project has strayed so far from its path that it has become our enemy. Today we declare war. May it be a short one. Okay. Tobias declared war on us. That's... I wonder how that's going to work. Well, it means that we probably can't... Trade with his havens, doesn't it? No, it looks like can. But we do want to steal a craft from him anyway, so I suppose it's fine. We can do an acid worm autopsy. Uh, let's see you. With ammo. You need ammo. You leveled up. You're gonna get ready for action. Then you're gonna get willpower. Like that. Okay. So the Manticore team is starting to be a decent level. It's hard to say the same for the Tiamat team. Really hard. But what mutation do you have? Judgment head and still frenzy. Okay. That could actually be useful. That could actually be useful. Right. Now... We're at war. Okay. Well... Next time I think we'll send the Manticore down here and scan or explore. And then the Tiamat is on its way over here to try and steal this aircraft. So that is going to be in the next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.